hello everybody it's wicked back with more trials amanda last time we made our way to tomato town after we we got off the ghost ship because it crumbled and it like broke down or whatever disappeared on us because we cured the curse and whatever so now we have to try to find this ruler of the seas for tomato town and find out what the hell to do and get off this friggin island before the volcano explodes let's get going and yeah, we already explored the whole island there, so we're pretty much Guess good to go. The seas is our only chance. Come on, let's head to Seaside Cavern. Yeah, I know where it is. It's over here where the boulders were. Last video, we sh I showed off some boulders, and that's where we gotta go. I just wish I went to the friggin' town first now so i didn't have to freaking backtrack again but it's whatever that's on me that's definitely on me i gotta use my training points at some point too because i've been i have like seven or eight training points i gotta use man but i just haven't felt like doing it i'm kind of weird like i when i have ability to like level up my own like with training points in this game or any other like level up system I only like to do it when I absolutely need to or if I I have a surplus like for example black myth Wukong you get every time you level up you get uh, the game's called sparks and you use the sparks to gain new abilities and stuff and I wouldn't use them until I had like at least 15 to 20 because I one I didn't need to use them and two I just kept forgetting about them but Something in my brain goes feels good when I use a whole bunch at once. Like, I don't know, the dopamine I get from using a bunch of friggin' skill points at once just feels good. Does anyone else get that way? Or is it just me? Am I weird? I'm probably weird. Yes, we're gonna escape the volcano, Kevin. Just give me some time. Nice, let's go. And if you guys are playing the game with me or playing along, I want to know who you guys have been using and what classes and stuff you pick because I'm pretty interested in seeing the diverse parties people can build. That's like the beauty of this game is how different every single playthrough can be from one another. What's up, gnome? <laughs> Looks like it's my time to shine, huh? <laughs> there was a cave entrance here, but the volcano done went and plugged it right up. Give me a sec, and I'll fix it for you. Well, be seeing you. Oh, wow, that was extremely easy for you, wasn't it, buddy? I'm so happy for you. Thanks to you, though. I appreciate it. I mean, couldn't you have done that the first time we went there? Seaside Cavern. Yo, that enemy looks so cool and so cute. I love it. I don't want to fight it. Seaside Cavern. Probably very, this very similar Seaside to the Cascade Cavern. Cavern. Is in here, but... But all I smell is sea salt. Sorry. Gotta hurry if we don't want to get burned to a crisp. Come on, Crimson Wizard and I still got some unfinished business. Huh. Yeah, I know, Duran. You have unfinished business with the Crimson Wizard, but like, why made you bring that up? Well, you don't want to die here and never get your chance at revenge? Is that it? Because trust me, I think we'll be fine. It was pretty easy. We got six whole treasures. This is going to be a long dungeon. I know it. I can feel it on my bones. Give me this. Thanks for the couple wishes. I appreciate it. All right. Let's go. This is the only way we can go. Can we jump down? Not yet. Okay. Give me some HP. Thanks, game. 
All right. More fighting. We have a cutscene already. Holy crap. Oh, these are new enemies, technically. Ton pole. Not tadpole, but ton pole, really. Why am I not hitting him? Thank you. <laughs> I kept missing for some reason. Okay, guys, I confess I was on my phone for a second because I needed my stopwatch. Sorry. Whatever, let's go. Oh, there's this. Yo, this thing looks cool. Hoto. What a cool looking freaking enemy. Yeah, be gone. Good job, Angela. Angela, your HP is like nothing. Why do you have no HP, girl? Excuse me? Oh. All right, whatever. The music in this place is pretty dope. I like it. Cross cut. I really should be using triple slash a little bit more, but I don't really, I don't know. I don't like waiting to get 200 CS or whatever it's called to use it. It was easy. And I almost leveled up. Dang it. All right. We came from this way. Yes, we did. So let's go this way. The thing I like about this game with the dungeons is they're not super convoluted and like annoying to traverse. And with, you know, having the map, it makes it really easy to know where you're going. But even without a map, I don't think I would get lost because it's pretty straightforward A to B, which I really, really like. Two training points. I'm doing two. That's good. Gold item seed. Awesome. But yeah, like people hate on uh, this is really random i don't know why i thought of it but people really hate on final fantasy 13 because the game was very linear and there wasn't like it was like point a to point b but i absolutely really prefer that system to be honest with you i don't know why i prefer it i just do i do like open world games i like having a big, big open world like the tales of games and stuff like that but at the end of the day I just like going where I gotta go and knowing where to go. And if you wanna have an open world on top of that, that's all the better. I don't know, I'm weird. People, people praise open world games left and right because of how fun they are to explore and you can have the freedom to do whatever you want. And that is very true and I do appreciate that. I just, I don't know, I just really like the simplicity of Linear linearity on top of talking about Final Fantasy 13 a lot of people will hate on that game because they don't think it's that good and I for one I just really like that game I don't know why I haven't played it since like at least 10 years ago since I played it on my Xbox back in the day but I I don't know man I really loved Final Fantasy 13 when I first played it I thought it was a really fun game the combat was pretty cool and unique the characters I I really like the characters it's just I don't know it was it was a lot of fun for me it may be part of that is because it was my first Final Fantasy I ever played which I know what a game to start with being that my first but I don't know I really enjoyed it and then I played Final Fantasy 13 2 and I loved that game, but I did not like 13 2 nearly as much as 13. I don't know why. I just didn't really vibe with the characters you play as as much. Like, I don't know. I like the six party members you did in 13, and then you get only two party members in 13 2, which just that alone is kind of annoying. Instead of using actual party members in that game, there's a monster collecting thing in that game, which in its own right, that's really cool. I like collecting monsters and picking different teams and stuff, but I don't know, man. I prefer having humanoid or whatever type of party members over a monster collecting game. That's like another reason why a lot of people dislike Tales of Symphonia Dawn of the New World because it was a monster collecting game. Granted, in that game, you do get 
your original party back but they're severely weak and not nearly as good that's like the big problem with that game i don't know i just i did not really vibe with 13 2 that much i like the story and the villain better in 13 2 but the overall gameplay not as much i know i'm probably in the mi minority of that but it's, it is what it is i've always been told that my taste in stuff in video games is very unconventional and totally opposite of what everyone else likes which is fine you know everyone likes what they like i can't help that i prefer certain stuff over other stuff all right another mimic like a lot of people consider final fantasy 10 to be one of the best teams of all time and i agree i really do it's my second favorite game of all time but they praise final fantasy 10 for being a great and stellar game with its world and everything else but crap on final fantasy 13 for the same reasons why they praise 10. I'm not saying 13 is nearly as good as 10. No, it's not. It's not even in the same class. But guys, if you play Final Fantasy 10 and then play Final Fantasy 13, you will understand that the game is just as linear than 13. And there's not much to really do outside of the end game. Like both games are linear until the end game where they open up and you can do all these side quests and stuff. It's like the same thing. So I don't know why people shit on 13's linearity when 10 is just as linear. But I digress. Enough talking about that. Let's continue on with this game. There's more fighting, more having fun. This is like one of the only reasons why I would consider not playing on hard mode for this game is because the game is not really that much harder, honestly. I think the hardest part about hard mode in this is the enemies have a ton more HP and they just do a little bit more damage. Other than that, it's not that big of a difference. Hello? Are we finally getting a new villain? I am Malokio. In accordance with the prophecy heralding his Dark Majesty's triumph, I am here to end your lives. It is foretold that you may disrupt his Majesty's plans for this realm. You coward! Just who is this Dark Majesty anyway? There is no need for you to know the minutia of our plan. After all, you will not leave here intact. <laughs> this active volcano will soon bury you all alive! <laughs> so I'm guessing he's the one that made the volcano active oh, no. to kill us. Top of us. Now what? We're out of options. Hey, it's that thing we saw last time. Also... Did I miss some stuff? Oh, because friggin' Wait, I missed half the treasures, but I didn't really see anything going on. <laughs> that's so, he's so stupid looking i love it why well, you have goggles on you're a friggin turtle thing you should be able to friggin i don't know you should be able to swim underwater just fine thanks for everything yo i don't know your name but thanks for the help little dude or i should say big dude very much appreciated and ask the hero king about the rest of the mana stones okay Good input, guys. <laughs> Hello? Anyone gonna talk? All right. 
The ruler of the seas of acknowledgement has granted you a new ability. Vuskov chain ability. Base HP increased by 60. Not too shabby at all. All right, but yeah, I missed a few treasures and stuff, which is kind of crappy, but whatever. We also met the new villain in, that's going on, Mel Oshio, whatever the name is. He wants to kill us because of the Dark Majesty, which is fine. He can try if he wants, but I don't think he'll be able to kill us because we're unstoppable. What's up, cat? Okay. All right. Oh, damn. All right. There is one thing we missed on Valsana and I want to collect it this time. Let's see if I can find little cactus dude. Where are you, buddy? I will find you and I will find uh, capture you. Hello? Oh, there you are. Hello. One more. We have to find one friggin more. Find one more for a prize. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Let's go see the Caro King. Because for some reason, it doesn't have a real name. Which, guys, I forgot to mention it because it just blew my mind. But uh, the true queen, we found her real name is Valdo or Valdis, whatever her name was. Like, they just never mention people by their real name. We did the Hero King. We did the true queen. Like... It's very rare that we get their full names, which is really cool. This is a little weird nitpick that I saw. Not nitpick, but detail that I noticed. We're missing one treasure. Are you serious right now? Maybe it's in the throne room and I just missed it. Yo, the cannon's still here if you want to get teleported somewhere. Where do you take us? Oh. No, I don't want to go back to Maya right now. I have no reason to go there. Hero King, are you okay, buddy? We missed a treasure. I can't believe it. I don't, is it in here? You think we missed it in here, guys? I don't know. By the end of the game, I will go back to all the areas we can and get everything, get all the treasures and stuff that we missed so we can say we have a fully complete game. Oh, well, let's just move on. Let's see what the hero king has to say. We have four more elementals to get. We have fire, water, wood, and the moon, I believe. Because I think the moon is a new element in this game. Which is kind of weird. You have returned safely. That is fortunate. I see you have located four of the eight elementals. Light, earth, wind, and darkness. You have four left to find. You are halfway to your goal. I can do math. Thank you. The Waterstone is in Altena's territory. Its elemental, Undine, may be found to the south of Frostbite Fields in the Labyrinth of Ice. Undine, not Undine? However, I have heard that Altena has already activated the Waterstone's energy. Please take care. To the south of the Burning Sands is a treacherous place known as Fiery Gorge. Hmm. The Firestone and its keeper, Salamando, can be found there. Southeast of here, Salamando, is the he said, or Salamander? Moon forest, home of the Beastmen. I have heard the Moonstone lies within its borders, <laughs> but I know nothing more. Beware the Beastmen's strength. Hmm. It would do you well to change your class before you attempt to cross into their land. I've already done that game. The Woodstone is said to be in the woods of Wanderer. Dryad, the stone's elemental, should be located nearby. However, you cannot reach that forest via a land route. South of the woods of Wanderer is Lampbloom Woods. The elfin settlement of Dior and all its secrets lie within. If you ask the elves, 
they may have some advice for you. You appear to have received help from Vuskov, ruler of the seas, to escape Buka Island. How do you know that? Did we tell I you? Assume it is because you were chosen by fairy. Here in Valsena, we have a flute that has the power to summon Vuskov. However, because the creature is not fond of humankind, we sealed it away. Ah, oh, that doesn't help us at all, if then. If Fuskov has accepted you, you can use the flute to summon the creature by playing it on any sandy beach in the world. Vuskov will come to you. Take it with you, with my blessing. I thought you said he sealed it away or something. Oh, I guess he sealed it away unless we have his permission, which we do. Because he saved us. But now we can... We have four areas we can go to i don't remember i don't know i think we can do them in any order but i'm not 100 sure so don't quote me on that one so i think we're gonna do undine first and then go for the fire one and then go for the wood and then finally the moon because he said the moon is the hardest one so we might save that one for last but i don't know maybe the game will just tell us hey we have to do it in a particular order I don't know. I don't remember. Let's just leave. We're done. Thank you, Hero King. I appreciate that greatly. Excuse me? Do we have to? I think we might have to go back to Maya so we can go to the beach. I don't remember. Labyrinth of Ice. Yeah, so they want us to go to the ice one first, it looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna do that, but first guys, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go back to the mole bear more and try to find that little cactus that I missed. So I'll be right back. What's up everybody? We're back real quick and I am in stone split gap here. So I'm gonna show you how to get here real quick because we can get this cactus. I remember that when you first started the game, you came to this area before you got uh, cut to um, Jod. So yeah, I forgot this side of the bridge is accessible from this side of Valsena. And that's where the little cactus dude is. Right when you enter, just follow the path and you'll see him right here. And then the mole bear more, uh, more area. I found the cactus there and it's actually right before the stone split gap. So I'm going to show you where this cactus is that I found. And then I'll meet you back at Maya because that's where we got to go. So yeah. But the way I was trying to, I thought the cactus guy was in the area we haven't gone to in the moor, but it's actually not. It's actually right here before Stone Split Cavern. Stone Split Gap. And with this, we should have every single cactus from in the game right now. If that's the case, that's really good. I did get enough cactus. When I got right here, you'll see the cactus right here. So yeah, that's good. But guys, I'll meet you back at Maya and I'll be back in a second. Alright, we're back at Maya after being shot from the cannon again. And I was trying to say before I interrupted myself, I got enough little cactus dudes to get that reward, the two times EXP boost occasionally. So that's really good. But hopefully now we can start leveling up a little bit quicker if we can get those boosts going on, but... Whatever, let's just continue on the game and where we're supposed to be going. Search for the elementals. I think we're going to the nearby beach so we can call Vuskov. And I don't remember, like I guess I don't remember the order we gotta do it. Maybe we can do it in any order, as long as we keep the one, the moon crystal for last. And if we can choose, I'm definitely going to pick um, the uh, water crystal first and then the fire. And then I'll go to... Hey, treasure. It's the one treasure I was missing in here. Let's go. I never came to the beach. Are you serious? Whatever. Boost cough. I got to use the item. Items. The items. Use it. I'm going to... I have to put it in my thing. So we'll get rid of this stupid hand axe I never use. There we go. 
item fairy flute let's use it Durand how do you know how to play that bro <laughs> look at him he looks so doofy I love it it's so freaking good the music's really good too and now we have essentially a ship in the game guys that's really cool I really really like how we have like a ship now see we can go to the snow hamlet of all rant or we can go to the desert capital Thurton. I'm gonna go to the snow hamlet aren't first I think I technically think that's the way the game wants you to go first is do this one and then do the fire but I don't know for sure let's just go here first because that's the way I want to go this barky yes sir thank you Voskov uh, this game is really cool because it's unique that you don't get a traditional ship or boat or whatever to traverse the waters you get a freaking creature that's super cool it's so unique huh i thought we were on the beach it's no hamlet of allrant this is like the territory uh what's her name is from angela <sighs> Is it freezing or is it just me? It's oh, just you. Training how to help me stand this cold. Come on. I can't wait to see what monsters cross our path. Okay, Duran, calm down, buddy. Any new weapons and stuff? I don't have much Welcome. money. Lots of wares to browse. Oh my god. So much money. I'm you know, I'm gonna hold off for <laughs> now. I don't have the money to spend. I I can't do it right now. Maybe in a little bit I can do it. Right now I can't. Well, let's go look for the cactus and the treasures. How many are there? Just one treasure box. Okay. Not too shabby. Duran, stop it. Thank you. There's armor in here. Welcome. Item shop. I don't care for items. I really don't. Come again. You get so many items in the game. It's like you don't really need to buy any. Welcome. Lots of wares to browse. Three and one, one and four. These are not for the price they cost. The upgrades are not that worth it. I might skip them here. Hopefully that doesn't come to bite me in the ass, but I think we'll be fine. You know, maybe if I start selling stuff, I'll have enough money for everything. What's up, Angela? They made you a wanted criminal. Yeah, well, we'll be all right. Just don't do anything stupid and we'll be just fine. I thought I saw something. Oh, that was just a flame. Okay, never mind. This is the end. Don't try to fight the end, Durand. Um, the treasure box in here? It is not. Let's go to the item seeds. Let's use these five real quick. Get the weak ones out of the way. If this gold one does not give us, give us a good item, I'm going to quit this game. Imp's ring. I don't know what that does, but we'll find out. We got six of these, so maybe we'll be able to get to level three with all these seeds. That'd be really good. Because I think the more, like the higher level your thing is, the better stuff you can get and the better bonuses you get like outside of battle. I think. Don't quote me on that. All right. The gold one better give us some good game i know you just did not give me a candy chocolate spirit serum that's okay mystic cookie magic elixir thanks game you gave me two items that are really just really crappy i think i'm gonna start putting chocolates though instead of candies because we have over 500 hp for the most part mystic cookie increase EXP increases by 20% temporarily. That's not bad. Money increased 20%. That's not bad either. Spirit Serum. Spirit Stat increases by one. Limited number attainable. Okay. I still haven't used those, but whatever. I have 12 training points. Holy crap. Like, I gotta start using my training points. I think I'll do that in between videos here, so you don't... To watch hey 
Don't try to kill him, damn it. Dope. How many more? Three? I don't really... The next prize is not that good, but whatever. Alright, guys. We're going to look for the treasure and then probably call it quits for today. Kevin, what are you looking at, bro? You never seen snow before? All right, that's kind of weird, I guess. Hey, there's the treasure box. All right, cool. But yeah, guys, I think we're going to call it quits today. I'm going to go back to the end. And next time, we will go searching for the water elemental here in the snow hamlet are on. Guys, I want to thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, hit that like button. Subscribe for more Trials of Mana. Maybe check out some of my other Let's Welcome. Plays. But until next time, guys, stay wicked. Come again.